Community members living near or around a new proposed interchange on I-15 at 700 South in St. George were invited once again to give their input. This time they were allowed to see the preferred alternative chosen from the last meeting in November. We've got to a point where we're proposing a preferred alternative. Uh, this is kind of the final stage in getting public input to take a look at the research we've done on the transportation need in the area. And what we do is we ask people to address the purpose and need that we show from a transportation standpoint and whether or not that has any environmental impacts. Under the preferred alternative, a number of right-of-ways would be consumed in the design phase in order to bring on and off ramps into the area. The property owners will be uh, notified much in advance of all of those processes of what's happening and they will work individually with UDOT to negotiate uh, what that looks like. According to UDOT's displays, the purpose and need for the new interchange has already been established in the environmental process. While this idea may seem new, it has been on the radar for at least 30 years. Well, because of the growth of this area, the high growth of this area, we anticipated that this project would be needed at some point. Um, and I, because I-15 needs to be widened, UDOT is taking a look at the interchange now. Under the current proposal, UDOT will need to raise the interstate up several feet in order to allow for traffic patterns to flow successfully underneath. We don't know whether or not this interchange will be funded and be a go, all right? Uh, if, if we were to assume that it was going to be built, all right, then of course they will taper out that grade and that profile accordingly, and it could have a much longer stretch, depending on also what would happen in the future for crossings underneath. So that's another reason the study is helpful. It helps us to determine, do we want to go to that stage now where we elevate this whole segment or do we just elevate part of it? You know, we do know that we need to bring it up a little bit to be able to get the clearance under 700 up to standard. The city of St. George will also need to widen 700 south in the future to accommodate the new lanes needed to bring the ramps into the intersection. Concerns last time regarding bike paths and walkways needed for school children were already addressed in this plan. Those living in the neighborhood expressed more questions relating to sound barrier walls that may end up being built alongside their homes to keep the noise out. Sometimes people don't want them, right, for aesthetic reasons. Uh, and so. Yeah, there's a process UDOT follows. If it qualifies for a sound wall, then we go to those immediate residents that are in that vicinity uh, where that would have the effect and they have the opportunity to vote on that. But I'm more concerned about the crime, the pollution, the sound, also the wall that's a sound barrier they're saying um, goes to vote by those that would be impacted. Like I said, I'm just one house across the street, one house down from where that wall would be and my house does not qualify for a vote on if it will impact me or not. And the wall could be anywhere from 14 to 20 feet, 18 foot average is what I'm told, and um, that's also part of the vote. This meeting was strictly designed to address environmental impacts and concerns if and or when the proposed interchange is built. What you say here doesn't matter is a fallacy. It does matter what you say here. The trick during an environmental phase is to make sure that your comments are s substantive when it relates to environmental impacts and proposed transportation needs. That's specifically what we're trying to hone in on today. It helps River Road in the future, like so as, we, as we think about growth in the future, things are going to grow whether we want them to or not. Another concern had to do with floodwaters and or sewer problems that plagued this area during the past during heavy rains. UDOT's answer to that is to build two detention basins, one to the north and one to the south of the interchange for potential water runoff. So far, UDOT says there's been no funding set aside for the I-15 interchange project, only the widening. However, the longer they wait, they say, the more costly it will be to develop in the future. Uh, we're ready to go on lanes. We're not ready to go on an interchange, obviously. And so, you know, if you put in another year for some design, if this thing were environmentally approved by the summer or something, then potentially we could be hitting it as early as next year. The public has until June 11th to make their comments known. In St. George, Melissa Anderson Community Education News.